You're watching BTV. Next, Orford Mining, capitalizing on both gold and critical metals. Orford Mining is focused on gold and critical minerals exploration in Quebec. Orford Mining has a project in Abitibi called the Chatel Eagle Project. We just finished a drilling program there. We believe we've outlined a mineralized body that we can get to a resource on uh, by this time next year. So we'll have a gold resource of body there. We also have three projects in Nunavik. First of all, the Kegavik Gold Project, very large project, 400 square kilometers of land. We will be doing rab drilling on that project this summer, about 30 to 60 holes. We also have the Nunavik Lithium Project. We just staked this land, 455 square kilometers of land, no impegmatites on the ground. Uh, lithium anomalies, probably the highest lithium in Lake Bottom set of anomalies in the province of Quebec. And if we see a, a pegmatite worthy of being drilled, we will drill that with that same rab drill. Real shortage of uh, rapids and easy supply of lithium in the world, which is probably the best element and will be used the longest in electric vehicle batteries. And then we have the West Raglan Nickel Project, which we are in partnership with uh, Wailu Metals. We're, we're not just a one property wonder here. We have four really key projects that are all moving ahead quite well. I think people are looking at the supply chain of having critical minerals, easy access and, and sovereignty over those. And so I think that's one of the reasons that the federal government has been supporting uh, the critical minerals industry.